I don't think it's gonna make it. <laughs> now he's on the camera. I am going to paint the mirror. I got a tattoo. The powder room is pretty much done. It's exactly what I had imagined. There's been a lot going on. We did get our living room rug. My first impression was a little skeptical when I first opened the box. Milo wants to say hi. Hi, sweetie. So what are you doing, mom? Being in a new environment really stresses him out, which I completely understand. And he is potty trained. However, he has marked a couple areas. He just started doing that here. I am gonna show you a clip of when we first opened the rug. He is in a reusable diaper and that is the reason why. So the rug just arrived and I'm gonna unroll it right now. It looks a little bit different than what I saw online. Okay, so then here is what it looks like in the space. It really looks like a vintage rug. Distressed lines going through it, but it was not the price of a vintage rug. I did look, if <laughs> you try to buy a vintage rug, that is nine by 12. It is definitely close to $3,000. There are furniture pieces that I will spend a little bit more money on, but when it comes to a rug in such a high traffic area, I can't justify doing that, so I didn't but I am happy with this choice because I feel like my furniture is very light. It just warms up the place. There's browns, there's some black in it, and then there is olive in it as well. This is a temporary situation. I did order custom blinds. That's why I have some samples up. Th that right there is my uh, blackout curtain from college, so it's so old. And I have some packages to open. We have like a whole bunch of packages that just got delivered. This is the mirror for the powder room. This is a very different choice for me, but I wanted something different in that room. The sound of styrofoam on a box is like worse than nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, let me pull it out. I was planning on using some rub and buff, a gold rub and buff. Really nice on mine. I hope it looks the same in person. Oh, that is nice. So it has like that antique look to it. The toilet paper holder. This is the towel holder. So I want to see what that looks like in the bathroom. See, it's still high. Cause okay, the, the weird one, it was like a nubbin that came out that came with the house. And they put this so high, like this is me standing next to it, which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not very tall, but still that's very high. It's just awkward. And even with this, I mean, it drops down the towel with a ring, at least like the other one, it didn't have a ring to it. It was just this part. So I think that'll help. I don't know if I have to move the whole thing down. I feel like a normal place to put this would be down here. So I don't know what they were thinking when they put that up in the first place. I do like, the color of this with the walls. This was a very inexpensive set. This was like $30 for both of them. I don't know, it looks like something you'd find on Anthropology for a lot. But since I'm unpackaging things that I just received today, I am also getting the beams today. The beams are gonna be delivered. So I can't wait for that to come. I'm working with four days on Instagram again. I have worked with them once before. They just came out with a Pajama line. I wasn't asked to film it for a YouTube or anything, but I just figured I would just share it. They came out with a cute pajama line. Look at their robe. I think this is, it's 100% organic cotton. Oh, and then a white one. This is their white, oh, so cute. The floral, cute little flowers on it. They are a sustainable brand and I like working with them. This bag is biodegradable and 100% recyclable. Pajama pants. I needed some long pants anyways. And then a top. See? 
this is like the same thing in white, but shorts. I don't, what are you eating, honey? Why are you like this? I am going to paint the mirror. I'm going to use some rub and buff in the color European gold. I'm going to paint using this, which looks like a makeup brush, but it actually came from my nail dip kit. And then I'm gonna blue tape it. And now we paint. This works out well. Okay. I finished painting everything. So now I'm gonna take the tape off hopefully it didn't get under here let's see oh crap okay oh crap i hate when the tape doesn't come off in one piece going for the antique gold Look, so there is a thin frame around it. So I feel like you can't even tell that much from this angle, but then on the sides you can see gold. I, I do have to clean up a little bit. I think it looks good. I did want to share the light fixture that arrived for the powder room. This is what it looks like. This is the base of it, which, okay. I want it to hang like this, facing down. And this is what the bulbs look like. So it's feathered glass. And I like that it's opaque because for the builder grade light that was in there, it completely washed out the lime wash. During the daytime, there's a window in there, like really high above. So you don't really need um, to turn on the lights. But at night, when you turn on the lights, it like washed everything out. I thought I was just gonna use these light bulbs I already had, but I also did not read that there are, they are E10 light bulbs, not E26 like most. For the most part, that bathroom should be done. The only thing left is really the faucet, which I also have not purchased because the faucet that I wanted, I didn't really expect it to be like 300 something dollars, which I don't really wanna spend on a powder room, but I also don't wanna get something I don't really want. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. Today is the day before Thanksgiving. We are actually gonna to go to California to stay with our friends for Thanksgiving instead of having it in our own house. Things are not ready anyways. I'm also getting a tattoo there. I, I have not even decided if it's left or right, but I do know the tattoo design. I'll show that later in the video. Ooh, I also, the blinds came. Oh gosh, they're not blinds, they're Roman shapes, but this is what it looks like. So I went with, I don't remember what the color was of all the samples I got, but it looks really nice. There's lining on the back of this, and then also it's cordless, so you just pull it straight down and push it straight up. I kind of had that same deal with the other bamboo shades when I, was in my old house. That's gonna go over here because there's too much light coming through here. It's like blinding. Oh, I can show you the actual color. I ended up getting which one? I got so many samples from this place. I got the white linen. I actually thought I was gonna get natural linen instead. It was uh, back ordered and I could not order it and I just wanted to get something in. So it just has some more texture than that does. This one's just a little bit darker. I wanted to order these two for this window first. This is definitely coming down as soon as we install it. I wanted to buy it for these two windows first before I bought for other rooms, just in case I didn't like the quality or something was wrong with them. But honestly, from the last time I filmed my plants, it's, it's in the same spot. I haven't moved anything. I did temporarily move that plant for a little bit. I'm not ready to like place the plants all around. If you are struggling and I don't know if it's gonna make it. My Mikan's was gorgeous, remember it, at my old place. This is actually really depressing to look at. I feel like it did its best when it was in uh, the other apartment. I was obviously prioritizing this plant. All of my other ones are pretty much fine. There's just a two, unfortunately, that are not. I don't, I don't know about it. I don't think it's gonna make it. I feel like it really started to struggle towards the end of our time at the last apartment, which was like seven months. There was not much light. I was relying on grow lights, but I don't know. 
they just started to hate it and then this is really unfortunate this plant costs a lot and it was also gorgeous it costs a little bit more i don't spend that much money on my plants this is the variegated epiplenum panatum i don't think it's like completely dying it just looks like crap i think that's fine we'll see everything i mean other things look good i have to repot this that looks great it's just tangled up in itself i'm not gonna untangle that until i know where i'm gonna put it this is beautiful okay like this was struggling and now it is gorgeous i have not started packing yet so i need to pack for it's not a very long trip but i need to pack get my little stuff ready he's obviously coming with us and um i'm still working as of, like right now so my husband's also at work so once he gets off of work we're gonna head out i have not filmed in a little bit last time i filmed it was before thanksgiving and then we went to visit friends in california for thanksgiving and i did a couple things there i got a tattoo this is a bodhi tree or ficus religiosa the bottom is a lotus flower it's peeling a little bit because it's healing and then here is a little boat it's a little sailboat other updates the powder room is pretty much done this is what it looks like if it would focus okay so this is the light that i got i like the feathered glass the irregular shaped mirror that i got and painted see i painted it to be an antique gold color over here is the towel ring i just retouched the back of that so we switched out the faucet it was like this chrome color before and my husband had to remove this entire pedestal sink off the wall to do that and that's why i had to reach touch that just now but then so this is the you can see the texture more during the daytime when the light is not on and then over here we have toilet paper holder so then the pendant lights came and this is what it looks like they are huge like in comparison to the bar stool that is the size of the pendant light I got these from Shades of Light. This is made of concrete. I am going to lime wash them. I'm gonna mix some of this color sample that I got. I got it in um, this sauteed mushroom color. You can see the color right there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this darker color, mix it with the lime wash paint that I just used in the powder room. And then I am going to paint this and we'll see how that goes. So I kind of did a similar thing with the actual powder room when I mix some lighter paint in with this. So I figure a darker paint will do the same thing. I think I'm gonna paint the interior where the light is. I'm gonna paint it the same color of the powder room just so it can reflect some more light. And then the darker color will go on the outside of it. I just wanna test it out first. So in here I have the regular lime wash. I have not done anything to it. I haven't mixed any other colors in it. I just want to see. I think it's going to take it pretty well. Hard to show exactly what I'm doing at the same time. Maybe I should actually use the giant brush. Because then I would do this a whole lot faster. I'm going to do that. So here is the actual big brush. That is meant for lime washing. That's better. It is grabbing on way better with this brush. So for the walls, I had to prime them. But this is, because it's concrete, it's catching on a lot easier. So I figured I would not have to prime them. I have way too many home projects. The fact that I'm painting a pendant light right now is kind of ridiculous. Okay, this is a trust the process type of moment. I can see that does not look that great right now. I started off this one without priming. This is a few layers of the lime wash without primer, and this is me priming it and doing one layer. So yeah, primer is the way to go. So I, I still need to finish the interior part, but this was so much easier with some primer. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this. Hang on. So I put the regular lime wash color in here, and I'm about to mix it with this sautéed mushroom. It says bear, but I could have sworn the color was PPG. Mushroom color. 
I like the name, sauteed mushroom. For, I have no idea how much. The color is changing. It's making it like a more taupey color. It's too white, right? Yeah, I guess that's a little bit more. So this is the color that we have. I'm pretty sure it's dry. I'm just gonna start painting. I don't have time to wait for this. So here's one of them. I'm still working on this one over here. Um, so this is before it dries. So some parts are a little bit darker, but I'm actually really happy with how it looks because it, you know those really light terracotta pots you can find in some nurseries? That is what it looks like to me. And I was a little skeptical when I started out, but I am very happy with it. The terracotta ones online were super, like the very orange ones. Those did cost like 600 plus dollars. To pay like 300 ish each for each of these but they're also very very big concrete um pendant lights but once i'm done with this i have to paint the rim because it's facing down right now and then i'm going to probably do some touch-ups inside of it once i take that off i'm going to use some rub and buff because we don't really have any silver in the house it's other than stainless steel but i want to make this like an antique gold kind of like how i did the mirror in the powder room good job thanks it is 12 23 a.m this is what i have going on so this is what it looks like on the outside of both of them like that i was gonna leave it white on the inside and obviously fix those spots but i like this better it has a little bit more texture i'm doing just this like one splotchy almost layer so then with lights on it has a lot of texture because in the outside Looks like that. Texture, but not, nothing crazy on the outside of it. I ended up painting it the next morning a little bit darker of a shade. I saved the rest of the lime wash mixture that I made. So the regular lime wash color mixed with that mushroom color. So I just added some more of the mushroom color. And this is what I ended up with. I'm so happy with the outcome. It was definitely lighter before. It wasn't as yellow as the clip show just because it was dark. It's exactly what I had imagined. I definitely think this project was worth it. It did take me a lot more time, especially since I had to paint it twice. But you definitely see a lot of texture. I hope when it's hung up really high that you could still see the texture. And then I ended up painting at the very top with Rub and Buff. I'm gonna end the vlog here. My next video will definitely have more home projects. We will have a lot of changes in the next video because beams are going up all of the pennant lights are going up um, i also have the dining room one that i will show in the next one and our curtains and shades are up so i will show all of that in the next video there will be of course more home projects because it's non-stop and i keep thinking of more things to do so that's it thanks for watching bye